Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into the Lowe's website and trying to find some good deals. So I really hope you guys enjoy it and uh, I'm not going to go over everything obviously. They have a long list and uh, not everything's great deals. I'll just try and point out some that maybe I think are good deals or maybe some that I would consider or some that I already own. Uh, if you guys see anything while I'm kind of scrolling through and I don't mention them, if you guys think it's a good deal, please drop it down in the comments. Uh, as well as any other deals that you've picked up recently at Lowe's, whether that be in-store or online. Now, keep in mind, this can go both ways. Sometimes you will find deals online that you won't find in stores, and then sometimes you'll find deals in stores that you won't find online. So it's always worth, you know, if you know what you're looking for specifically, it's always better to just check the website uh, before you head to the store, or if you're at the store, get on your phone, check out the website make sure that there's not a better deal or maybe they'll honor the deal that you you see online versus what they have in store things like that so always try and find yourself the best deal possible so first up first thing on the list all i've done was go to uh the savings tab and then selected the tools uh sometimes they'll have certain things going on like right now they have 30 percent off certain tools up to 30 percent off certain tools and combination sets so like they have a lot going on with like the craftsman toolboxes and stuff right now but truthfully not a big fan of the craftsman toolboxes um compared to their pricing i just don't th i think there's a lot better deals out there so first up we have the dewalt six tool combo kit with large job site large site ready rolling bag this is 500 dollars down from 550 dollars and i think even at 550 dollars it's a pretty decent deal at 500 dollars, i think it's a good deal you get a drill, impact driver, oscillating tool, reciprocating saw, circular saw, and a sander. And then, so there's six tools, plus you're getting two batteries and a charger and a nice bag. It's not a cheaper, you know, bag that they just toss in with a lot of the sets. It's kind of like the upgraded bag. So it uh, seems to be a pretty nice little set for that $500 price range. Here's a Craftsman Toolbox. This is about, you know, as plain Jane as it gets for $200 down from $260 now. I mean, like, this is, like, bare bones, small stuff. This is not what I was talking about just a minute and a half ago when we were talking about Craftsman having their toolboxes on sale. Uh, this is not one of them that I was talking about. This is, you know, bottom-of-the-line stuff right here. Here's a 10-inch, 15-amp portable table saw for $550 down from $650. Here's a two pack of their six amp hour batteries from DeWalt, the 20 volt lineup, $180 down from $270, another 2000 series. They got, they got a lot going on with the Craftsman toolboxes, like I said earlier. So here's the 262 piece Craftsman socket set. This is with their, you know, uh, versus stack. I think that's what they call theirs. I have it and I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> um, same as the DeWalt's T stack, very minor differences. They do work uh, with one another. But um, this is at $150. You will see it cheaper. You'll see it around that $100 price range. So not a terrible deal, but not the best deal that you can get on it. That goes for a lot of these deals. It, it all just depends on the time of year that you're purchasing things. Here's a DeWalt 8 and a quarter inch portable table saw for $300 down from $400. Cobalt 24 volt half inch drive impact with one battery, $180 down from 230. I have the 24 volt. I run my leaf blower and weed eater off of it. And then I picked up a drill for 20, 20 or 25 bucks on the clearance shelf. Um, the only reason I picked up that drill is because I run their lawn stuff. Um, so I don't have a lot of experience with the 24 volt lineup besides the lawn stuff and one drill. And they've they've done well. Not a whole lot of heavy use on the drill, obviously. The yard stuff's been fantastic. Uh, so I can't say much about the Cobalt lineup of power tools. But I think if you're a DIYer, if you can get some good deals on them, I think it's a pretty decent lineup. Here's the, the Bosch quarter-inch, half-inch variable speed impact driver. Basically, it has a quarter-inch adapter inside of the half-inch chuck, if that's what you want to call it. Um... So $130 down from $160. I think it's a pretty cool design. Uh, not really sure if it's necessary, but pretty um, innovative design if you want to put it that way. Small little Craftsman top box for $200 down from 
it was a pretty decent deal. You got two two amp hour batteries, two four amp hour batteries for two hundred dollars, down from three hundred and thirty dollars. Here's the flex lineup. Now I've been seeing videos. I think I've mentioned this in a in a video in the past. Uh, I've been seeing some flex videos, but if any of my viewers are actual users of the flex lineup, please let me know your personal thoughts on the tools. Um, I really like to hear your guys' feedback. Now this is buy more, save more, uh, so you're basically just getting uh, a better price for buying a, a bigger bundle set. Uh, it's not necessarily on sale, but this is the six tool, 24 volt, uh, $650. So, I mean, that that's still, you know, $100 per tool. You're, you're getting a couple batteries and a charger and a bag. So, I mean, it's still priced decently, but once again, that all depends on the reliability of this brand. Uh, so that's why I would like your guys' personal opinions on it if you guys have used it. And once again, one of those tools is a little job site flashlight, which I don't count those as a tool when it comes to these sets. Um, it's very rare for people to actually use these. I'm not going to use up one of my tool batteries for a flashlight. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Um, they do have some better ones out there. They're not usually the ones thrown into sets like this. Unfortunately, when you get sets like this, they're usually pretty generic little lights so the pancake compressors you know those are on sale from every brand everywhere this is the same brand my father actually picked up a couple years ago I think he's been pretty happy with uh, I don't think this he's got a little bit nicer one than this this one's uh like bottom of the line when it comes to their uh, compound miter saws but this one's $120 down from 170 boss circular saw 18 volt for $100 down from 130 Here's that cobalt socket set that I've mentioned in the past. Uh, not a terrible deal, but you will find this for a better price. It's their 300 piece set for $230 down from $270. So a little bit of savings there, but later on in the year, I'm sure we're going to see it drop even more. If you do run the cobalt lineup, here's a two pack. This is a two amp hour battery and a four amp hour battery for $100 with a charger down from $130. This actually looks like the drill that I have. It might possibly be. The drill that I have, uh, $120 down from $140. Here you're getting a battery charger and bag with it. And a bonus free additional 4 amp hour battery included. Here's the Craftsman half inch drive brushless cordless drill. Two batteries included and a charger for $100 down from $130. I don't run the Craftsman 20 volt lineup, nor have I used it. Basically, you're seeing a lot of those three main brands, you know, DeWalt, Cobalt, and Craftsman. Um, you're seeing a couple things here and there when it comes to some other brands, but that's primarily what we're seeing here today. Here's another Cobalt set. It's a two-tool kit with a battery charger and bag for 160 down from 200 A little six-and-a-half-inch uh, circular saw from Cobalt for $80 down from 130 A little bit nicer, 12-inch, uh, 15-amp dual bevel compound miter saw for $250 down from $300. Here's a little four tool kit from Craftsman for $150 down from $200. It does include two batteries and a charger as well. Here's the cobalt version of the cordless ratchet. Um, 3H drive this one and it is $100 down from $130. Uh, generates 55 foot pounds of torque uh, and manual ratcheting up to 150 foot pounds. So Pretty strong little design there. Uh, I do know with my Milwaukee cordless ratchet, sometimes you know you got to break a fastener loose first before you can actually use the cordless ratchet in action. Uh, and sometimes you got to be careful not to push on like the battery itself. You got to make sure you're grabbing the tool. And even then, sometimes I'm just like I'm just gonna throw a ratchet on here before I break my cordless ratchet. That's just how I feel. So <laughs> here's a quarter inch impact driver from Craftsman for $100 down from $130 two batteries included so not a bad deal there now this is very generic you know product uh, but having a good set of scissors whether that be medical shears or job site scissors or anything like this um, it's always handy to have you know something even though it's very basic it's a very basic tool even if you just grab yourself a household set of scissors it's always nice to just have something like this in the shop or garage it's always handy um, so especially for six dollars down from fifteen dollars I mean can't really go wrong there another flex product 
at two hundred dollars down from two hundred and fifty two hundred and fifty dollars. This is their quarter inch impact driver. It includes two batteries, a charger, and a hard case. There's a little hundred dollar Bluetooth job site radio from Cobalt. Hundred dollars down from one hundred and thirty dollars. Actually, seems like a pretty nice little radio. I have the Milwaukee one. And I really enjoy it. Um, but I think this this is actually pretty nice as well. I don't think I've actually seen this one before, so I think that's a pretty nice little job site radio. There's a Cobalt seven and a quarter inch, 24 volt. So this is their cordless compound miter saw for two hundred and thirty dollars, down from two hundred and seventy dollars. This is a smaller miter saw, but it seems like it's pretty decent little miter saw. Allows a cross cutting standard two by ten lumber dual bevel. Let's go ahead and specifically look at some of their hand tools before we end the video. So we've already looked at quite a few of these already. An another smaller socket set from Craftsman for fifty four dollars down from seventy dollars. Now this is only a seventy one piece set. That I mean earlier that's the versus stack setup. So if you're looking for something for the versus stack setup, I mean wait till if you if you really want to wait till this one hits a hundred dollars. It's a much more complete and better set than this very basic one for um fifty five dollars even on sale because they're counting all those Allen keys up there, so really, you know, you're getting thirty sockets. Not that great of a deal if you're really looking for a versus stack um, socket set. Probably go with something a little bit more complete than this set, especially for the price. Oh, cobalt 32 piece. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I hate when socket sets just use this one for an example. This one doesn't really count because it's extremely small, but you know, you know, like the one we were just looking at, they will throw in a bunch of bits and a bit driver just to basically rake the numbers up on their socket set. If I need bits and a bit driver, I will go out and spend, you know, fifteen, twenty dollars on a dedicated kit and have exactly what I need rather than buying a socket set, which I'm buying for sockets. Uh, just to receive half of it full of miscellaneous stuff I do not want. So this is something I would consider over buying a socket set filled with all that miscellaneous extra stuff. We'll just look at a couple more items and then uh, we'll end off the video. There's some pretty decent deals going on right now. Here's just an extension set with accessories, you know, reducers and adapters and swivels for $50 down from 75 Not that great of a deal either. A lot of the pliers from Craftsman Cobalt. So just like Home Depot, um, when I did a video a few weeks ago, their best deals are on their power tools. Not seeing a whole lot of great deals on hand tools or anything like that. So uh, if you're in the market for some new power tools, obviously with the brands that Lowe's carries, they do have some decent deals going on right now. Uh, but do keep in mind that here we're going to be running into the holidays here pretty soon, which is mind-blowing because I feel like we just started this year. We'll be seeing a little bit better deals, so maybe keep an eye on them now. If you're not in a necessarily big hurry, wait a month or two. Uh, we're going to start seeing, so should start seeing some better deals, hopefully. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts. And as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. See you guys next time.